besides designers and the props people who come down to show them what we have in stock in case they want to use something on their stage, nobody comes down here. Currently we're in what we call the tunnel at the Citadel Theatre. We are under the restaurant in the Citadel Complex and beside the Library Parkade. It's really hard to find. You wouldn't necessarily know it was there if you're walking down the street. This is used for our prop storage. We have all kinds of furniture that looks like period furniture that's either been built or we have found that ranges from every time period you can think of. A lot of the props are useful to reuse, so we store stuff down here so that we can reuse it. We have a lot of greenery down here because we'll find plays have uh, an outdoor element to them, or there's a garden described in the play, something like that, and so designers will want greenery. So we have plants and flowers of, you name it, we probably got it. Of course, seeing them in this light, they don't look as great as they do on stage but we try to store all this stuff so that we can reuse it and uh, repurpose it rather than throw it away. We are hoarders. Uh, every few years we have to go through all our storage spaces and do a clean up and cull of stuff that we haven't used for a while or we, we know, we doubt we'll be using for a while. The Citadel Complex is quite large so we have all kinds of cubby holes all over the building that our regular audience wouldn't know where they are in the building, but uh, behind a lot of our theater spaces, even in some of our office spaces, we have costumes, props, you name it, set pieces. It's in all kinds of strange places in the building because you never know what a director or designer is going to ask for in terms of what they need to see on the stage. I would say the greatest misconception is that we purchase all this stuff at some magic shop that exists that you decide, oh, I'm doing the play Beauty and the Beast, so I'm just gonna order all the props and costumes from Beauty and the Beast. It doesn't work that way. We make everything in-house. I know one piece that we're proud of is the copper pot that's over there on the shelf. It was actually painted by the visual artist Robin Poitras for our production of Royal Hunt of the Sun. So she created some pieces, painted some pieces for us. Uh, to look like they came out of the Aztec period. So, so it's a special piece that we'll always keep. I don't know of any ghost stories in this particular space. Uh, I don't like coming down here by myself. It's off the street. People wouldn't know you were down here if you know you tripped and fell and had an accident or something. So I do encourage any of our props people, they always come as a team, but um, it's, it's homey and some of the props are, you know, remind me of shows that we've done that, that I'm really proud of. So it's nice to come down here just to go down memory lane. <laughs>